Hey, 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 Virgo. So I am completely solely on YouTube now. No more TikTok. And I'm very excited about that. TikTok is just too difficult. And I just feel a much more energetic home here on the YouTube platform. So hoping you do as well and I get to see you more often. So Virgo, we're gonna do past, present, and future again. And then the next time I cycle around back to Aries, we'll do something different for the next run through the Zodiac. So past energy for Virgo, please. Acceptance, loving what is. Present energy. Dreaming and future. Resistance. Okay. Uh, also, below in the description, the first link will be the extension to this video. And then I have links to my Instagram, to my website, and also a link to the booking on PayPal if you're interested in a private read. And all the information on the private reading is down in the description as well. All right, what is this acceptance in the past? Do you ever get like a hair and you're like, you can feel it, but you can't see it, it's there. Um, Okay, in the past, this acceptance, you were not accepting something. In fact, you were adamantly against it. You had your guard up. You refused to believe that you deserved it or that it was just. What is this about? What is this devil here for? Is this just obsessively protecting yourself or was there a toxicity here? You had to walk away from something. I don't know if there was an, an addiction of some sort. I don't like to like really touch health. I don't know, maybe you were drinking a little too much, maybe a little too much weed, I don't know. Um, because you were in denial and that's how you were coping, but you're catching yourself now. You see it and you're letting that go. Something that you believe you didn't deserve happened. And I think you just maybe had one too many glasses of wine over it for a length of period, but you've let that go. You did let it go and you're finding yourself again on your own. A little scary, but you're truly understanding yourself a little better now. So I don't know if this is necessarily dealing with a person or if this is truly dealing with an addiction you had. It could have been shopping, gambling, drinking, smoking, um, you know, excessive running, like you were addicted to working out. Whatever it is, I feel like you've, you've realized why you were doing it and are starting to let that go now. And like I said, you feel a little out of sorts, like this is uncharted territory for you, but you know that it's for your greater good. Interesting. So maybe now you're accepting why you were doing this and what the issue is. 444 on the clock. Four is our foundation. Maybe you're, you're realizing that you need to build a new foundation that can't be centered around whatever this addiction was. Yes, you're working on your independence. You're standing strong. Oh, <gasps> 
and it's working. It's working. You're feeling really good. And people are noticing. People who, who people are coming back to say, hey, this is a whole new you and I like it. You're getting noticed for this. You're getting accolades for whatever this transformation is. You're getting congratulations. You're getting, and these are people from your past who are like, yeah, we saw you slipping, but you're coming back. Wow. So here you are now dreaming. So the world is your oyster now that you've kicked whatever this is. Yeah, you're feeling really good. Like you are dreaming, dreaming. All possibilities. Um, there's some news coming in though. News you hadn't expected that's going to close out some stress for some reason. Wow, this is kind of out of nowhere. Well, that's what the Knight of Swords does. They come out of nowhere with shocking news. It, it's going to stress you, but but it's a Ten of Wands, so it's going to close out stress as well. Make that make sense. <laughs> Can't make sense. It's confusing. You're juggling. Yeah. You're, you're toggling a line between vulnerability and confliction, like conflict. Um, whatever this news that is coming in is, you're not quite sure what to do with it because you're kind of on this new path of dreaming, right? Feeling really good about yourself, uh, acting the fool in a good way. Fearless, vulnerable, ready to try new things. But there's conflict here in that you don't really know how to start fresh. You don't know how to take that first step. And it's because someone came in and guided you in a way that confused you. It's like right when you got rid of whatever this, I don't know if I should call it addiction, whatever this issue was that was strapping you in the past, you got past that and you're feeling really good and you're dreaming, but then someone came in with advice or information that stressed you out and it's making you confused about your dreams now because you were gung-ho ready to go. And now you're like, just as you're about ready to take your first step, you pulled back. And now you're stressed. Where's my parachute? What if it's, you know, you're about to step off the cliff and you pull back. Where's my parachute? What if it's raining? What if there's no safety net at the bottom? Um, what if there's a field of cacti that I landed in? where you weren't doing that before until someone came in or some information surfaced that made you worry. Is my harness attached? You're getting all stressed all over again. Tell me more. You're not trusting yourself. You're, you're used to depending on other people and you're having a hard time trusting yourself. And this, whoever gave you advice about something is really bothering you because it's making you question whether you can do this. And it's painful because this is someone who you want to be supporting you and they're they're not. They're doubting you. They're doubting that you can do this. They're doubting that you can move on. So that moves us to resistance in the future. Where does this go? So what? You're resisting. Wow, Virgo. This person is making you doubt so much that you're capable of this. 
that you are resisting your original dreams of Empress Energy, that you can do this, that this fresh start in Empress Energy of I can do and be anything. I have the power to rebirth myself, recreate myself. You're doubting that now. You're literally resisting that now. Where you had it, you were ready to go. You were loving yourself. And then someone came in and squashed that. And now you're doubting yourself again. Okay. Let's dig into this and see what this is all about. Um, and how we can get you to overcome that. In the extension, the link is right below this video in the description. So head on over there um, and we'll dig a little deeper. I'll see you there. If not, I'll catch you back here next time. Good luck with this Virgo. Ciao, ciao for now now.